everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo ang Columns Law. And then ang gagawin natin is magsusolve tayo ng mga problems na related sa Columns Law. So yung Columns Law, this is given by the formula F is equal to K, Q sub 1, Q sub 2 over R squared. So ang ibig sabihin nito ng F is this one is what you call as the electrostatic force. Kasi kapag meron kang dalawang charges, na nasa isang space, uh, meron silang electrostatic force that acts between them. So, yung electrostatic force na yon dalawang klase yon Meron kang attractive force and then meron kang repulsive force. Kapag meron tayong attractive force, meron tayong unlike charges. Ibig sabihin, yung isang charge is positive and then yung isang charge is negative. Kapag naman meron tayong repulsive force, ang repulsive force nangyayari kapag meron kang same charges. So, for example, parehas yung positive charge o parehas yan na negative charge. Now, sa so formula natin, yung K, that is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th uh, Newton meter squared per column squared. So, this one is already a constant. So, siguro sa mga ibang textbook, baka may encounter nyo dyan, uh, meron dyan gumagamit ng 8.99 or 8.98. Okay? So, nevertheless, nirout of ko na lang dito so para mas madali ka pa nag input tayo sa calculator. Now, yung Q naman dito, yung Q sub 1 and Q sub 2, it represents your quantity of charge. So, yung charge natin, this one is measured in column. So, madalas na makikita nyo ng mga units dyan is let's say microcolum. So, ang microcolum is equivalent to 10 times raised to negative 6 column. And then, we also have yung R. So, yung R is the distance between the charges. So, ito yung layo between the charges. So, remember na dapat yung unit nito is meter. Kung yan ay naka-centimeter or naka-millimeter or kung nasa ibang unit man yan, kailangan nyo muna siyang i-convert into meter bago nyo gamitin yung formula para masolve nyo siya. So, basically, yung sinasabi dito sa columns lang natin, kung titingnan natin sa formula, is that yung electrostatic force natin between the two bodies, um, nag increase yon or nadadagdagan yon kapag tumataas din yung ating charge. So, yung charge natin, mas mataas ang value, mas mataas ang ating electrostatic force. Kung mapapansin nyo dito, yung distance between the charges is inversely proportional to your electrostatic force. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, kapag mas malayo yung dalawang charges nyo, mas mababa yung value ng electrostatic force. So, mag mas malapit naman sila, mas malakas yung ating electrostatic force. Two-point charges, Q sub 1 is positive 8 microcoulomb and Q sub 2, negative 5 microcoulomb are separated by a distance R of 10 centimeters. So what is the magnitude of the electrostatic force? Is that force repulsive or attractive? Okay, so sagutan muna natin yung magnitude ng electrostatic force. So gagamitin natin dito yung Coulomb's law. So yung formula natin for Coulomb's law is F is equal to K. Q sub 1, Q sub 2, over R squared. So given tayo dito ng values ng Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and meron din tayo dito ng value ng R. Now, tandaan natin na yung micro column dito, i-convert muna natin to sa unit ng column. So yung Q sub 1 natin, that is equal to 8, or positive 8, times 10 raised to negative 6 column. So ang micro, ang ibig sabihin nito is times 10 raised to negative 6. Now, yung Q sub 2 naman natin, meron tayong negative 5 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. Meron din tayo ditong value ng R na 10 centimeters. So, kailangan natin to i-convert sa meter. So, 10 divided by 100 will give us 0 0.1 meter. Kasi ang 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. Okay, so ngayon na meron na tayong mga value, substitute na natin siya sa equation. So, tandaan natin na yung value ng ating K, this one is equal to a constant which is 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per column squared. So, multiply natin to dito sa Q1 natin na 8 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. Kahit hindi nyo na isa, ilagay yung signs, okay lang yon. And then, meron tayong 5 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. And then, i-divide natin to doon sa square ng 0 0.1 meter. Okay, so i-square natin siya. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa equation natin, makakancel natin dito yung column dito. Yan. And then, makakancel din natin dito yung square meter. So, itong square meter makakancel kapag in-square nyo na itong um, meet, uh, 0 0.1 meters. So, therefore, ang maiiwan na natin na unit is yung newton. So, pag input natin to sa calculator, ang makukuha nating sagot dito is 36 newtons. 
Now, ang tanong is, is the force repulsive or attractive? So, para masagot to, titignan lang natin yung ating charges. So, yung Q1 natin, it's a positive charge. And then, yung Q2 natin is a negative charge. So, since meron tayong positive and negative charge, so unlike sign sila, so therefore, meron tayo dito attractive force. Okay, so attractive ang kanyang force dahil magkaiba sila ng charge. Two equal charges of magnitude, 1.1 times 10 raised to negative 7 Coulomb, experience an electrostatic force of 4.2 times 10 raised to negative 4 Newtons. How far apart are the centers of the two charges? Okay, so tinan natin dito sa given natin. Given tayo dito ng dalawang equal charges. So pwede natin sabihin dito na yung Q1 mo is just equal to Q2. Okay, and ang value niya is 1.1 times 10 raised to negative 7 Coulomb. And meron tayong electrostatic force na given which is 4.2 times 10 raised to negative 4 Newtons. So pinapahanap sa atin dito is yung distance, so yung layo nila. So hanapin natin dito yung value ng R. So kung babalikan natin yung equation natin for uh, Coulomb's law, meron tayong F is equal to K, Q sub 1, Q sub 2 over R squared. So para masolve natin yung R squared, first cross multiply muna tayo. So ito magiging F R squared is equal to K, Q1, Q2. Then, para masolve natin ng R, divide natin both sides of the equation by F. Ayan. Para makancel yan dito, sa side na to. So, therefore, meron ka na rito R squared. Now, since R squared yan, ang hinahanap kasi natin is R lang. So, kailangan natin kunin yung square root ng both sides of the equation. So, ngayon na magiging final equation na natin ito, magiging R is equal to the square root of K, Q sub 1, Q sub 2 over F. So, substitute na natin yung mga values natin. So, again, yung K natin, that's 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton uh, meter squared per column squared. And then, imumultiply natin siya dito sa 1.1 times 10 raised to negative 7 column. Ang gagawin ko na lang, i-square ko na lang to. Okay? So, since same values naman silang dalawa, yung Q1 at saka Q2. So, it's just like saying na minumultiply natin siya sa sarili niya. Okay? Kaya naka-square. And then over yung F natin na 4.2 times 10 raised to negative 4 newtons. So kung mapapansin nyo dito, makakancel natin yung um, column squared. Okay, pag ito yung square natin. And then yung newton, makakancel din. So may iwan na lang natin na unit dito is meter squared. Pero since kukunin natin yung square root niya, okay, so ibig sabihin ang magiging final unit natin is just meter. So pag ito, in-input natin sa calculator, so, round off na lang natin yung final value. So, yung R natin dito is 0 0.51 meters. Two like and equal charges are at a distance of D is 5 centimeters and exert a force of 9 times 10 raised to negative 4 newtons on each other. Find the magnitude of each charge. Okay, so sa given natin, meron tayong D. O in this case, ito yung R natin. So, yung R natin is uh, 5 centimeters. Again, kailangan muna natin to i-convert to meters. So, pag kinonvert natin to sa meters, this one is equal to 0 0.05 meters. So, yung 5, we divide na siya sa 100 para makuha nyo yung equivalent value niya sa meter. And then, meron tayo ditong force na 9 times 10 raised to negative 3 newtons. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung magnitude ng ating charges. So, yung, ano yung daw yung value ng Q1 and Q2 natin? Now, remember, itong dalawang values na ito, sinabi dyan na they are like and equal charges. Okay? So, like and equal charges nila. So, in this case, ang gagawin na lang natin is papalitan ko na lang siya ng um, symbol na Q. Okay? So, gagamitin ko na lang yung Q para mas madali siya para sa uh, pagsusolve natin sa equations. Now, kung babalikin natin yung equation natin, meron tayong F is equal to K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. So, ang gagawin ko, itong Q1, Q2, papalitan ko na lang siya ng Q. Okay? So, magiging F is equal to K. So, magiging Q. And then, remember, since parehas lang naman yan, magiging Q times Q. Or, in this case, gagawin ko na lang siyang Q squared. Okay? Over R squared. Now, para masolve natin yung value ng Q, cross multiply natin itong dalawa na to. Okay? So, magiging F, R squared is equal to K, Q squared. Now, 
Uh, para masolve natin yung value ng Q, divide natin both sides of the equation by K para makancel natin yung K sa right side. And then since Q lang hinahanap natin, kailangan lang natin kunin ang square root ng both sides of the equation para makuha natin yung value ng Q. So therefore, ang Q natin, ang formula niya is F R squared over K. Okay, so substitute na natin yung mga values. So, magingyari dito, meron tayong F na 9 times 10 raised to negative 3 newtons. Multiply natin siya sa R natin na 0 0.05 meters and then kunin natin yung square nito. And then, i-divide natin siya sa K which is 9 times 10 raised to 9 newton uh, meter squared per coulomb squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, makakansal natin yung unit ng newton and then yung unit ng square meter, okay? And then, ang matitira na unit is column squared. So, since kukunin natin yung square root, ibig sabihin, um, column na lang yung ating magiging final unit. So, therefore, yung value ng ating Q, pag in-input natin sa calculator, this one is equal to 5 times 10 raised to negative 8 column. Kanina, yung binigay ko ng mga examples, meron lang tayong two charges. So, yun yung pinaka-basic na computation. Pero paano kapag meron ka ng three charges? Okay, so sa case na to kailangan naman nating mag-compute ng um, net electrostatic force. So tingnan natin itong example na to. So three charge particles are arranged in a line as shown in the figure below. So Q, um, Q sub A is negative 5 microcoulomb, Q sub B is positive 10 microcoulomb, and Q sub C is negative 12 microcoulomb. So calculate the net electrostatic force on Q sub B due to the other two charges. So makikita natin dito sa figure na meron tayo ditong three charges na nasa points A, B, and C. Now given tayo dito ng mga distances nila from each other. So ang tinatanong dito sa problem is ano daw yung net force, okay, ano yung net force na na-experience nitong B because of the two charges A and C. Okay, so, para magawa natin yun, first, kailangan muna natin um, i-diagram kung ano yung insura ng ating mga uh, force vectors. Okay. So, start tayo dito sa A and B. Now, if you notice, negative yung charge ng A. So, si B naman is positive. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong unlike charges. So, kapag ganito, meron tayong attractive force. So, therefore, yung direction ng force is papalapit sa kanilang dalawa. Okay? So, parang they're um, moving towards each other. So, sa case na ito, itong si A, ito yung direction ng kanyang force, papunta kay B. And then, ito namang si B, ito yung direction ng force niya, papunta kay A. So, ito, itatag ko to as F sub A, kasi ito yung force that is caused by A, na na-experience ni B. And then, for C, tingnan natin, so, itong si C is negative charge, and then si B is positive charge. So, again, meron na naman tayong um, attractive force. So, therefore, ito yung mga directions nila. So, itong si C, ito yung direction niya inang force na papunta rito kay B. And then, si B naman, ito yung direction niya. At, so, ito naman, itatag ko siya as F sub C kasi ito yung force na na-experience ni B because dun sa attractive force na ine-exert ni C sa kanya. So, kung ito ngayon, separate ko yung diagram natin. So, ito si B. Okay? So, ito yung mga direction ng forces niya. So, meron kang F sub A, ito yung force galing kay A which is going to the left. And then meron tayong going to the right na force galing kay C. So remember na kapag sinabi natin na net force, ibig sabihin kinukuha lang natin yung sum ng ating forces. So meron tayo ditong F net is just equal to F sub A plus F sub C. Okay, now ang tanong, paano natin makukuha si F sub A and F sub C? Okay, so para makuha natin si F sub A or ito yung force na na-experience ni B because of charge A. So gagamitin natin yung ating um, Coulomb's law. So meron tayong K is equal to Q sub A, Q sub B over R A B squared. So nilagyan ko to ng AB para ma-denote na yung distance na kinocompute natin dito is a distance between A and B. So substitute na natin yung mga values natin. So sa F sub A natin, meron tayong 9 times 10 to the 9th newton uh, meter squared per column squared. In this case, gamitin ko na lang 5 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. So again, since micro column to, kinonvert ko siya sa um, column. So ginawa ko lang na yung micro is times 10 raised to negative 6. 
And then sa B naman, meron tayong 10 times 10 raised to negative 6 colon. So, di-divide ngayon natin to by yung distance nilang dalawa, which is 6 centimeters. So, again, kailangan natin i-convert yung centimeters sa meter. So, this one is 0 0.06 meters. So, kunin natin yung square niyan. So, pag inipod natin to sa calculator, this one is equal to 125 newtons. So, gagawin natin yung same procedure kanina kay A. So, ngayon, gagawin ulit natin siya for C. So, F sub C is equal to K. Q sub C, Q sub B, over R, C, B squared. Okay, so, palitan na natin yung mga values natin. So, meron tayong 9 times 10 raised to 9. Newton meter squared per column squared. Then, multiply natin siya sa C. So, ang charge ng C natin is 12 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. And then, sa B naman, we have 10 times 10 raised to negative 6 column. So, di-divide natin siya by yung distance natin. So, ang distance natin dito is 4 centimeters. So, convert ulit natin to sa meters. So, this one is 0 0.04 meters. So, square natin. Now, pag in-input natin to sa calculator, ang makukuha natin sagot dito is 675 newtons. So, ngayon na meron na tayong values for FA and FC, substitute na natin siya dito sa Fnet. So, ang ating F net is equal to, ang FA natin, remember si FA, this one is acting to the left. So, kapag sa left ang direction, that means kagamit tayo ng negative sign. Sa FA, meron tayong negative 125 newtons. And then si F sub C naman, so if you notice yung direction ni F sub C is going to the right. So, since going to the right siya, ibig sabihin um, positive yung ating gagamitin na sign. So, i-add lang natin 675 newtons. So therefore, yung ating net force now is equal to 550 newtons. So since positive yung sign niya, ibig sabihin yung direction ng ating force is going to the right. So sana po nakatulong ng malaki sa inyo itong ating tutorial on electrostatic force using Coulomb's law. So kung meron po kayong mga questions or gusto niyo pong mag-comment, you can um, type your comments here. And kung meron po kayong mga other suggested videos na gusto nyo gawin natin, video tutorial for physics, pwede nyo rin po yung isuggest sa ating pong comment section. So I'll see you on my next video.